sorry, he just caught me down a dark, even-tide cave there with, with a Sustainiac. Uh, this is this green guitar that I've made for um, Graham Coxon of Blur fame. Um, it does feature this Sustainiac uh, pickup. Uh, it's a very clever little device that you put in a guitar, and when you turn it on, this little neck pickup actually um, forces your string to vibrate, it makes it vibrate, and they, those vibrations are picked up by the neck, by the bridge pickup, and then it's sent off to be eternally uh, sustaining by amplifier. Uh, they've been around for a while, sitting Steve Vai and a lot of those kind of used, used them for a long time. Um, this Emperor has got some Radio Shock pickups in it, slightly overwound path and one of their singles to go with the Sustainiac. Um, the neck pickup on this guitar is quite strong as a neck pickup. More on that later. Um, crazy, crazy beautiful roasted maple neck. Huge cavity for all the gubbins to go in to stop oscillation and lots of crosstalk nonsense. Um, if you try and stuff it in a Strat style guitar, be careful because there's lots of wires in there which are too close together, they sound horrible. So, that's to make a new body. Big old uh, cavity. Um, holds everything in there, apart from the battery, a separate little one there for easy guitar tech access. Um, so you start, the video started with me playing uh, with some gainy sounds through a crazy eventide um, cave dark something reverb thing. Um, let's hear the guitar just as a regular guitar now, so that's all the switches down. Um, uh, let's just turn on this Petty John, bit of gain. <laughs> So it does all the regular guitar stuff, you know, position two. Middle position. Position four. And the neck. Um, little extra grey guitar secrets. It's got a bridge blender knob this time. So when you're in the neck position, position five, push the knob up, the push push, brings the humbucker in. Now it is a subtle difference because this neck pickup is quite strong. So you just get a bit more low end. So if I play a few chords with just the neck pickup, here we go. Now with the humbucker. Single. With that bugger. Kind of smooths it out a bit, a bit more low end. It's not as on off as crazy as you'd expect, but it's a very usable sound, which is why we used it. Now, also on this same second uh, tone control, if you turn it down, it turns off this. Uh, uh, one of the coils of the humbucker, so you get a single coil sound. So if I go back to the humbucker sound where it's own humbucker humbucker. Down a single. It's a very similar sound, just slightly weaker. It works really well. Um, so here's the, um, the neck pickup with some single coil, toned, the, the knob turned all the way down. Uh, with. Without. Tone there, it's subtle but usable, which is great. So um, let's try the sustaining switch. If I turn a bit, um, it's still got some gain on. First switch in the up position turns the basic uh, sustainer on.
won't tell then. Now, if I put it in a harmonic position, you'll hear it go like an up an octave. Here we go. So here's it regular. Also, put it in the middle position, which those two mix together. obscure-ish 13 riff there. Comments please, comments please. So it's a great guitar, I love it, it sounds great. Um, racing green, very thin paint, just got a couple of coats of primer and maybe a couple, a couple of greens on there, really light, see the grain through it, Swamp Ash, really nice. Just a bare, bare minimum paint, that's gonna chip up beautifully. Crazy roasty neck, uh, Goto staggered vintage tuners, uh, Goto two, two pillar bridge, Radio Shop Pickup, Sustainiac, Green, Blur, Graham, Awesomeness, Sustaining. Okay, so um, look out for it uh, around the world in the stadiums near you. Goodbye.